MGM Grand here on the bank. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. What does the orthodox fighter have to be conscious of of guarding against that right hook from the southpaw? I mean, he's got his left hand out there, but a non-traditional defensive structure for him being set up like that. Yeah, absolutely. He has to remember that that punch will come from that angle, and usually he has no danger coming from that angle. So he has to make sure when he jabs, that shoulder is up against his chin. So if the hook does come, it hits the shoulder, not the chin. Dawson's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Halfway through round number one. Yeah, good work. Dawson's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Right to the head with that right. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Good exchange, he fires back. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by Chad Dawson. Nice. There he is from long range using that jab. So if you're on the outside, say at a picnic, you want to keep those insects away, you use insect repellent. While you're on the outside as a fighter, you want to keep your opponent away, that jab, that's the way to go. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's gonna live up to that. So far, so good. Here we go, round two is underway. His right hand working well that time. He scored well. Good accuracy with that uppercut. How about that hook by Chad Dawson? Chad Dawson swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. that hook upstairs halfway through this round here good clean shot returning fire well done by Chad Dawson Dawson's getting himself into the mix now landing that left hand oh that's good stuff Fires right back with one of his own. Good work by Chad Dawson. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. to live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind, make a miss. Make him pay. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. 
Halfway through this round. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole. It was close. Solid straight right hand. Bernard Hopkins' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Fires off the hook. Look at that. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Scores big with the hook to the head. Hopkins has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Hopkins is able to land a good, solid left hand. Dawson's inconsistencies are really showing up now. At times, he has shown defense tonight. Other times, with what we've seen recently, he's getting hit by the left hand. Yeah, what he has to do is now... Well, let's look at Teddy's scorecard through three rounds. See, Bernard Hopkins has been having those Philly gym wars for so many years now that it's just second nature to throw your punches in accurate combination form. Good job snapping out that jab. You know, if you're watching Muhammad Ali, you know you need a jab to move on the outside. But if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Scores up top with a left. Bernard Hopkins is scoring with that right hand. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't. Great movement. You know, very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. with a left hand. He really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. Hopkins is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Very accurate with the overhand right. Took a shot, now he gives a left. And we are underway with the second half of this fight. Bernard Hopkins is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Now he's targeting upstairs. Chad Dawson's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, hey, I'm seeing punches too. still Let's getting go. through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. He scores with the left. <laughs> left to the body. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Halfway into round number five here. Head movement, head movement. Hopkins is well off the mark that time. Let's see some more head movement. Let's see some more head movement. Get out of the way. right back at him with a left hand.
twice. Looks re-energized after that time on the stool. A headshot block. Nice side. Move your head. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Dawson's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Carries that punch away. Up top with the right hand. Bernard Hopkins is very much being tested here, even though he's likely up a big, big shot. He just... One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Hopkins' his right hand scores well. Keep moving. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. target with that straight right. Bernard Hopkins is jet. Real good sign for him right here. He's coming out and looks fresh. He's up on his toes and boxing the way he was. That after a round in which he was knocked down. Yeah, that's about DNA and that's about genetics. I mean, he has good recovery skills. That's it. Dawson's able to avoid that punch. A solid true uppercut by Chad Dawson. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. You're okay. Wow, is he defensively. There it is. Well. Dawson's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Chad Dawson. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Stay away from those. Bernard Hopkins has got to be really careful there, Teddy. I mean, he's leaving himself wide open. And what's going to happen next? See, you know, he's leaving himself open. He hasn't paid for anything yet, but that will be coming before you know it. A flush hook scores well for him. Seven rounds have passed us by, and this is a completely one-sided fight. Hopkins has been scoring knockdowns consistently. He's dominating this. The only thing he could do now is close the curtain with a knock. And bang and away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. <laughs> But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. Oh, that's got him. One, 
A knockout, unable to beat the count of 10. For the official word, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, the executioner, Paul Kings. As we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Bernard Hopkins is now a winner by knockout.